Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, it's Raggy and welcome to a video where we're going to be doing something absolutely fantastic. You guessed it, sports night. Luckily, not Fortnite. Sounds a little bit similar, but thank goodness for us, it's actually not. But unfortunately, it's nearly as bad because it's a lucky ticket G stage. So at the very least, this video is going to be masquerading as something more important. I would actually credit it with a bit more than masquerading. We're going to have other stuff in it, but we'd like to get some sports night done as well. But principally, what I'd like to do is get stuff ready for myself. So we have very little time left on Heavenly Tower. We have some two-star All Hallows Road to get through, and of course we have the sports night. And that makes me think, I can prepare loads of energy refills for myself, and that, I think, might be a nice way to do things. So I'm going to do most of sports night, a little bit of All Hallows Road, and we'll see how we do. The first level in this, then, is Inviting Cemetery, and Jace said to me that Wave Rider Coup that we got in our Summer Gals role might actually be pretty handy here, so luckily I've still got the Weed Whacker Cat strat, and I'm just going to use that along with some other stuff. It might be a little wise, perhaps, to swippity swap out that for another meat shield, so we have Jewel Erasers, and that should be fine within itself. I think that's going to be perfectly alright. That will do very much, especially with our Wave Rider Coup which if I'd structured it better might have rhymed, but alas, let's just go into the battle, the inviting cemetery, and see if it is quite as inviting as it advertises itself. Well, an inviting level for me is one without zombies in it. So, uh, it's failed. Mag level sort that out, that would be a nice start, and then eh, mag level probably survive. Oh, that's a long range, I never realised how long that was. But anyway, mag level should survive long enough to get, well, at least a hit, it has already on that, and then perhaps another hit, a bit of a kill hit. Yep, good. Bit of monies here and there. I'm going to get myself a Manic King Dragon for the occasional hits. So Maglev doesn't die. And it's going to go there. And then we're going to get another one. And then, I think, now is going to be a good time for a bit of Weed Whacker action. I had great fun with Weed Whacker. Weed Whacker was great. So I'm just going to keep going with it, keep using it, and hope that it can clear up these Peony zombies here. If they ever resurface, they're going to resurface. So a Razors and Weed Whacker will probably be fine, especially if we can get a proc off, which we've got now. And there's a zombie kill, just as we're knocked back. And, all right, okay. I mean, I saw that in the promotional stuff. And he's flying! Look at him! What a happy little flying boy. What a complete mad lad. Okay, fair enough. Well, the freeze is definitely helping us there. Oh, he's got a shoe. Oh, of course, it's a legacy, isn't it? Is a, is a legacy throwing his shoes off? I mean, that is quite amusing. As much as I don't like the concept of Lucky Ticket G's, that is a nice start enemy-wise. Celine? Nah. Legacy with purple hat? Oh, yeah. Bam, we're done. Inviting Cemetery crumbles before us. Nice actually having a specific sort of zombie loadout. Gonna make it a lot easier for us. Next up is two bodies, zero legs. Well, I mean, what? That's like, that's not legacy then. Hmm. Is that Dark Emperor director cheeky boy himself the slowest man on earth? Well, it is, luckily for us, but we have no bomber cat or any of that. But we do have a bit of dragon. I think dragon will be alright for the same kind of process. And maglev will probably be fine. Loads of opportunity to get my work cat up. Some dark doges to get money from. I think we're going to be just about all right. Already a level six worker cat, and he's not even capable of killing my maglev. I mean, maybe he missed, but that wasn't a good show from the director there. And oh, our maglev's going to die then. It tried its best. We got a legsy face coming up anyway. He's got legs. I don't quite understand the name of this level, but I'm sure I'll work it out in due course. What we're going to do with this one is we're going to do it with minimal gacha. So we're just going to go two no gacha meat shields, our very slightly gacha weed whacker, a no gacha other stuff for stacking of legs and dragons, and we're going to defeat this all by ourselves. Look at the prowess, a max worker cat, a zombie kill. Ha! Oh, I, I'm brilliant. A pump timing, decent. We're gonna get a shot off on the Gorin, and hopefully nothing else moves in front. Okay, good. Looks like we're gonna deal with this in one go, unless it's got a lot of health, which it doesn't. It's gone, it's been destroyed, and we shall be successful, I do believe, in getting through two bodies, zero legs, which one would probably hope for, because it is like the, the second stage. Grave Bouquet, oh well. Not sure I can say very much about these level names, but I'm liking the Legsy variant. He's a interesting looking boy. I was gonna say he's a good boy, but he's, he's a villain, isn't he? 
He's an undead, villainous, strange boy who throws his shoes everywhere instead of putting them organisedly in some kind of cupboard. So he's not a good boy. I was about to say, a razor and a maglev is a brilliant idea. The maglev stays protected and we get to do damage to this over a nice course of time. What happens? Maglev dies instantly and then we get damage off on our base. Um, not always great, but I guess that's the natural course of events. Things just go wrong over and over again. Perhaps multiple erasers then. That'll do us just fine. Loads of red enemies this time. What's going to be good for that? I don't know, perhaps a little bit of dragon stacking, a little bit of maglev here and there. I don't think you can really go wrong with that, to be honest. I think we're going to be just about all right, which again, isn't particularly surprising. Oh, that's an eclectic mix. Zombies, red and alien. Well, Cat Machine would have been brilliant for that. But alas, we do have no such thing. But equally, we have Wave Rider Coup. We have maglev. We have maxed out dragons. We're going to be absolutely fine and dandy. Waves! What waves? This boy getting bot, bot, nat, bot, nat so much that I can't even speak. That's the amazing force of our army there. Look at that. Done. Sorted. Absolutely no question in the matter. Next we have Fallen Priest. Oh, poor bloke. I hope he can get back up again for his sake. Needs to, need, well, I don't know. What does he need to do? That's going to really bother me. What, what, where was he going when he fell down? Some good dragoning there, but will it perhaps save us? It will. The maglev is not dead. Okay, I'm going to do the eraser thing then. Keep our maglev alive for a little bit longer. Build up loads of monies. I'm glad I kept this floor 27 strat together because I tell you what, and it started again. I tell you what, it's going rather well. Dragons, I don't use them all that often, but they are a really versatile tool, especially in these kind of zombie levels with your odd enemy here and there that you need to knock back on a regular basis. Right. Oh, okay. A bun bun black. Fair enough. Well, dragons are going to be great for that, theoretically speaking. I'm going to use both my erasers, slow all of that down. And so we have erasers which are killed and legs and dragons stacking behind it. That is some properly old school way of defeating bun bun, but it should work just fine, he says, as bun bun starts killing his stack. Gonna try and be sensible with my monies, even though I've got quite a lot of them. I'm gonna try and lay off Wave Rider Coup. Oh, actually, perhaps oh, I might bring out Wave Rider Coup. I was trying to do Bun Bun by itself, but now that we've got all the other stuff with our Legacy variant with the amazing hat and everything else, I think we'll bring out all that we can. But considering we have no Bomber Cat or anything like that, we're doing just about fine. That's a zombie kill. Thank you very much, Wave Rider Coup. Everything is gonna be just all right. We don't need things tailored perfectly to the cause, just things which are just about good enough for us to make a nice stack and defeat the enemies. Lovely stuff. Waboom! Bit early on that waboom, but we've done it. Fallen Priest, hope you can get back up, my son. Again, that is still really bothering me. How do we know where he's fallen? He's just some fallen priest. And we don't know where he is. His glasses are probably broken on the floor, so we can't see where he is. And I... That's making me really sad. Right, so there's five levels in the subchapter -y Lucky Ticket G stages, I do believe. So I want to leave that last one because if a Lucky Ticket G stage is going to serve to do anything useful at all, that's its function as an energy refill. So I'm going to leave that there and in fact move on to a bit of All Hallows Road, spend 100 energy before we reconnect to the internet. Sweet Samain, oh I remember this stuff. This is some classic stuff. I should probably go back to my slot two, seeing this is a time score stage, and romp through it as quickly as we possibly can. Get us some rewards. Right, what we got, what we got? We got them pumpkins, it's Halloween again, dead spooky. Right, there's Pumpcat, absolute classic. I tend to forget all these things come from events. I was trying to work out yesterday. Where's Cat's gift come from? Is that Gapture? But it comes from Jolly Saint Nick. I forgot that even existed. You tend to. I mean, maybe only I tend to. But these little versions of the seasonal events that aren't the monthly stages, they're sort of run by my memory and I forget about them. But Lantern O Jack, firmly back within the memory in our two-star format. A Manic Lion, a Maglev, and possibly not much after that. No, we're done. Victory, good stuff. That's 100,000 XP. A Rich Cat and a Speed Up. I'll take the Rich Cat. Fair enough indeed. And that will leave us with not enough energy. But worry ye not, for ye has banked energy ye overnight. See ye in about a second's time. <laughs> Thank you.
Right, we back. Cosplay Carnival will probably go away with doing slot two for that one as well. Then we might need to change a little bit later on. A Manic Lion, as per usual. And then a Maglev, as per usual. Poorly timed on my part. Or was it? I can't see if it was really not back or not. Let's not worry about that because we got through all the sile and all of that. It's not even a sile, it's just a seal. A seal of approval because we just completed it with a cat ticket and a 50,000, a 20,000. That'll do. Nice cat ticket after we spent quite a lot of them to get dark, 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 that one. Trick or treatment. These names are flooding back to me now. I remember them. These are the spooky, scary Thundia levels. Of course, I remember a long time ago, I was going to recreate Spooky Scary Thundia to a little bit, because that was a classic video of mine that I quite liked. Another poor maglev timing from me. And then, as I was going to recreate it, the Living Tombstone at that point usurped any kind of free use of their music video by suddenly making it not Creative Commons anymore, and monetizing it on other people's stuff. And bearing in mind that the video had previously been claim free, I thought, screw you, no one's getting the money mate. So that's sort of probably unlisted or private or something. And so I guess instead, with the footage I was gonna use, I could like recreate it a tiny bit. Golden shiny spins around lightning, explosions, same old but. <laughs> Oh, Katatsu. Is it Katatsu Cat? Yes, it is. I think we've now certainly reached a point where having this slot 2 isn't working out that well for us. But worry I not, Hayabusa's has done a rather brilliant job there. And there we go. We're going to get the level done, albeit quite slowly. Is that enough for all the rewards? It might be. Sniper the Cat. 80,000 XP and Cat CPU. Seems to be. Okay, good. So that means I'll probably need to switch back back to Miss Slot 7, which has all the zombie stuff in it, but still a maglev, for Hello Hello Halloween, and then we'll leave the last one of that for an energy refill. Nice and practical. What do you have for us? It's a nice room. I remember these now. Those scary, spooky eyebrows everywhere. So, a razor, possibly a faster razor, seeing we need to get score. Weed Whacker Cat, and then a maglev if we can to kill stuff and get the extra monies before the eraser does. Oh, an upgrade of the worker cat. Another eraser, a Saru, Carney. Can't say that in absolutely ages. We're going back in time these days, aren't we? A Salaboodle, probably easily dealt with. There we go, waves destroying that. A Maglev hit on the base. And then I assume, yeah, Mr. Top Hatted Electro Swing Owlbrow over here. I reckon if we keep this stuff roughly where it is, we could get away with a cheeky A Bahama to the base and we might not be pushed back. Although it's looking a bit dangerous, we might not get there. It gets a shot in, although possibly not on the base and the Owlbrow is wreaking havoc, but we've delayed it. But we got hit again and that is it for the A Bahama. Well, ripped to us and now there's a morph. I'm not quite sure if we're gonna be able to push through this. We're probably gonna get knocked back and have to go back again to try and kill the base. So that means no kind of good score for us. But nevertheless, I'm gonna keep working at it. Come on dragons. You can do it. You've done it before. You can do it again I mean the logic still applies easier level harder level. What's the difference the difference? Wave rider coup. Come on. Come on. Come on. And there we go a victory just over 7,000 There might be enough as well three rewards looks like it. Okay, good most of that done then in a nice organized edly fashion and if I go back to stage one Harvest Festival is just after Hello Hello Halloween, so that's going to be the last stage, so we will leave that for an energy refill as well. Right, finally on the agenda then, to keep going through, because we only have one day of it left, and a lot of floors to get done. Heavenly Flippin' Tower. Which, thinking about it, might be better placed inside a stream or something like that, where I have a little bit longer to address my Heavenly Tower notes and make them extra fancy. As discussed in what I was doing in the Floor 27 video of Weed Whacker, I'm trying to make some of the floors really similar to each other in their strats, and I think I'm slowly getting towards achieving that. Only have to change about two to four cats in the lineup between 21, 22, 23, 26, and 28, I think I said it was. So, just making it a little bit easier brings a certain kind of mellow, warming joy to my soul. Maybe that's just me, but I like nice, simple, easy things. So, if I'm correct, this video will have premiered, nice feature, taken YouTube several years, but they've come up with a good feature, thank you YouTube, after a charity stream. If it hasn't, just 
know that that was what I was planning to do. So this, I assume, I'll be in some kind of chat saying, look, here's me from the past talking about me from the future, talking to you while you're watching this video. So I say to you and any future viewer of this video, thank you for popping along and watching it. I'll bid you goodbye and say I hope you enjoyed.